Open primaries could be a part of Idaho's political future. Rexburg hosted a debate on that issue today. Local News 8's Braden Wilson was there and fills us in on what happened. Braden. I'm here in Rexburg City Hall. Behind me is the Rexburg City Council Chambers. Now, in those chambers earlier this afternoon was an open forum to discuss the open primary initiative. Now this initiative, if passed, would allow for any registered voter, regardless of party affiliation, to vote in any primary election. It would also introduce ranked choice voting as our electoral format. Now we heard from two people who were on both sides of this debate. In favor was Hiram Erickson. Against was Maria Nate. Confidence in election integrity <coughs> is at an all-time low. Why would we want to complicate and confuse the process even more? Ranked choice voting has already been prohibited in Idaho. The Supreme Court has ruled that all open primaries are illegal. And now we have a well-funded, dark money initiative process that is telling Idaho to ignore the laws and ignore the courts. They want to upend our elections. This would be a nightmare for Idaho. I'm a Republican. 70% of the registered voters in Madison County are Republicans. I am pretty confident that Madison County will continue to be a safe Republican district for the foreseeable future. But there's 30% of the people in Madison County that deserve to have their voices heard, even if I disagree with them. And I do. I'm not a constitutionalist. I'm not a member of the Constitutional Party. I'm not a Libertarian. I'm not a member of the Libertarian Party. I'm not a Democrat. I am a Republican, but those people deserve to vote, and our Republic is stronger when they are heard. Some felt the debate didn't get to the crux of the issue. My opinion has not changed with what happened here today because I think that they're talking about the wrong issue. Others felt the issue needed to be examined differently and inside the parties. There are some things that may be uh, advantageous with this, but there's other things that I don't like personally. Um, and uh, I do think within our party there are some things we can do to try to eliminate some of the, the contention um, without having to go to this extreme on the ranked choice voting. Now this forum generated a lot of enthusiasm for people on both sides of the debate and many said they weren't sure what the right solution should be but that something needed to change. For Local News 8, I'm Braden Wilson.